I guess I gotta start off there. Hello everyone, Bray Scooter here. Welcome back to more Tears of the Kingdom. Why did the music kick in so s epically? I didn't do anything. <laughs> anyway. Uh, last time in Tears of the Kingdom, we, cl we well, we basically focused all of our efforts on making Lurland Village livable. And hospital. And all that jazz. And now, well, I was, did say I was going to start off on this rough region over here. But, here's the thing. I did some research off camera, and I talked about that there was a piece of armor that I knew was along the coastline, which is, this is roughly the armor piece I'm talking about. There, it is part of a set that we could have actually gotten to, and it was something I mentioned a while ago that was like, man, I swear, there's something like right around here that I can do if I just had the right location or knew the, where, where it is. It's... Basically somewhere in this mountain range, and I kind of wish I didn't close my, uh, <laughs> close my research bar, so to say, so I could actually get a better uh, track on this. But yeah, it's right around this area, and man, I, you know, I have something to combat the cold. Why have I not just put it on? Because it, it doesn't stop the cold enough, whatever. I have food I need to eat. I'll manage. Oh my god, there it is. That's not where we're going right now, but that's what I've been looking for this whole time. Okay. So let me, let me just fix this stuff. Let me just do a little bit of fixing because I want to mark this so I don't forget where it is coming up here. Because I'll have to fly it there again off screen. But for now, oh my gosh, that's a Korok. Why? I was going to do something totally different. I was going to tell you that I was going to do something totally different. So... Where we have to go to get to that first piece of armor is actually right here in this, uh, right at the basin, or where, where this river empties out. But now I guess I'm helping a Korok. And I was going to cut away, and it was going to be a whole thing, but here's a Korok I just neglected to help earlier. Yeah. And now I gotta spend the effort to auto build a car. Uh, car? Yeah, car. It's not going to make it much better, but it'll be a little bit better. Man, am I glad I really spent all the time to... Am I really glad I spent all the time in the world to get up all this zone out while I was in the depths? Because it's saving so much time now. Actually, I could use this to get to the... We're kind of driving towards the river, so I could use this to get towards the river in a second here. Faster. We're on a time limit. My own self-imposed time limit. And those are just bait bananas sitting in the road. Hmm, bait bananas. I don't think, uh, yeah, I don't, th what is it? I have your friend. Yeah, I don't think there's, uh, what is it? It just dawned on me while I was driving the Quark over here that I don't think there is any kind of, like, time of day based Koroks, if that makes sense. Like, I understand that for a lot of stuff, even in this game, for, but a lot of stuff in a lot of Zelda games, there's always been something that's, like, timing based. Uh, I need to take a hard left through this pass here. There's always a lot of stuff that's like time based, like if the moon is out, or if the sun, or if it's daytime, or specifically at this time of day. A lot of times, in Legend of Zelda, there's always been stuff that's been tied to specifically the time of day. Thankfully, I don't think Koroks fall within that realm. Now here comes somebody with a Korok. Now, so, now here comes somebody who's going to be like, well, it's going to hit me with the um. Ah. <laughs> And tell me that some of these cor that some of these crocs do not appear in the nighttime or, or or do not appear in the daytime. Up there, huh? You know, you're oddly enough gonna help me. I am using so much auto build for this, and guess and guess how much I care, Zero. Uh, I need that platform. This actually will work off just fine. Or this will work off, this will work just fine. Thankfully, there's a lot of stuff here that just kind of works. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff here that just kind of works. Uh, ooh. Well, even if this doesn't work, uh... Hmm. Okay, hold on, we can work with this. 
I can get this guy the rest of the way up. And again, it's gonna be to the riverfront. But yeah, the uh, there's as far as I'm aware, there's nothing. Oh, come on, slide over the edge, slide over the edge. Fine, I'll get you. I'll just have to pick you up from up there instead. Um, there's not a lot of you know. Are you serious? Fine, I'll waste more auto build stuff to get you up there where you need to go. Where is the simple platform? Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing daytime or nighttime based in this. As, as long as far as I'm aware. Should have just done this from the start. It would save myself a headache. Man, am I glad I'm not going for all the Koroks in this game. Because I would be in shambles. I would be in shambles had I had to get all the Koroks this way. Hold on, it's fine. I can get him back. As long as I can see him. Yeah, as long as I can see him, I can get him back. Come here. I'm just watching the left side of the screen right now. Oh my gosh. We are now we are now in a delicate game of stupidity. Where did where did you go? We're in a very delicate game of stupidity as we speak. I'm not gonna stand in the line in the line. You've wasted off of my time. I guess the, I guess this is the only benefit to re exploring the land a second time is getting all the Koroks. That's the only benefit. Anyway, river. So anyway, now that I'm done going around the river, let's go to the river. How long has all that been up there? Have I marked that? I mean, I can't... I have, but what is... I'm gonna have to explore that hut now, aren't I? I don't have to, but I'm gonna be compelled to. Anyway, enough goofing about aside. Let's head south towards this river here and follow the river. And I guess I'll cut, let's just cut out some fluff because you don't need to see me do this again. Well, you can kind of see our target now, but um, there's our bloopy. And you can also kind of see why we need so much stamina because gliding around is, other than using machines, is the fastest way to move about in this game, but this, give me all, give me your money. Uh, maybe not. I just realized where I am in relation to a watery, in relation to a watery grave, I realized where I was standing. <laughs> but you see why we need so much stamina at this point, because it's, it just gets around faster. Other than building machines, it just gets around faster. Anyway. Hi. Come closer. Try again. There you go. Hey, can you swim? No, you can't. Ironic that Link's ability to swim is used against the enemies, despite the fact that until this duology of games, Link cannot swim. Am I restating effect? Yes. Will I continue restating effect? Yes. Should it annoy you? Yes. Anyway. Somewhere in this mess is is the uh, is the piece of armor that we kind of started off this whole adventure looking for. But the... Where it is for Oh, there it is right there. So there is a way to handle that, but how I want to handle... what? Well, what I'm going to handle first is getting the bubble frog that's obviously down the other path. And... Yep, just right here. No, come down. We miss you. Your mother misses you. Come home. Sorry. That got dark really fast. Man, that bloop the tracking on the on the uh, the bloopy tracking is gonna throw me off so much because like I'm gonna do that thing where I where I free the the uh, soul of the bloopy from the bubble frog or however you want to look at that particular exchange. And then radar's gonna go off, keep going off, and I'm gonna be like, oh wait, wait, where well, who? Hama 
Oh, gloom hands. Hmm, that explains a lot. Now, see, are they patrolling? They are patrolling. Anyway, this cave is wet, and I'll tell you that you can't. There, it's designed such a way where you can't ascend through there. So, but you cannot ascend through there. So you can either try and build yourself a bridge out of parts, or you can take on the gloom hands. I'm kind of feeling. Well, hold on. Have I taken a picture of these guys yet? Does, they don't even register. Well, it is now. It is unfortunately we are hit. We have hit now or never time. So blow them all up so they get confused, and then start shooting eyes uh, or miss eyes. I'm trying to do this so much faster than I probably should be. So save some stamina just in case. And then proceed to keep shooting bombs around them. You know, Bull's gonna be a brave man and go fight, go fight them head on, head on. And they're gonna start coming at me and make me regret all my life decisions. You know, Bull is currently being manhandled. Wait, how did you come back? It's like, how how did you come back? Where is it? There he is. Come here. Come on, I can fight you. Ow. Maybe I can't fight you. Oh, you didn't do any damage. Whatever. Whatever. You don't do enough damage for me to worry about it anymore. We're well past that point. That's mine. <laughs> oh, I can't hold the Demon King. Well, I can't hold Demon's King, but that's fine. Yeah, we're we're pretty much all past the point of worrying so much about Vanagan and Gloom Hands. But... Much like another, well, shrine from earlier, the uh, entrance to the treasure is literally right here behind. It. Hey, you know, well, thanks for just uh, soaking up a blow, for, soaking up a, or, or uh, occupying a hand for me, so I can just do dumb things faster. Anyway, now that we have found the treasure, there's a little cave over there, so I might do some stuff. But yeah, the phantom armor. So here's the thing about the phantom armor that. Uh, I will say like another person of the interwebs has highlighted, but I will also be someone who highlights this fact factoid about it. If you, if you are worried about dying and don't care about map exploration and don't care so much about like knowing where you're going, like having a proper visible spectrum of where you're going. If you know where to find the pieces of the phantom armor, a, it's actually kind of easy to get to. Minus the gloom hands here, but it's easy, kind of easy to go to. But if you can get to it, the Phantom Armor gives you the biggest out-of-box armor armor boost, and also gives you the attack up stat from the Barbarian Armor set. As you saw, that that was like that was like that was a box standard. Uh, I like how I call it box standard, by the way. That was box standard stat eight armor up. We have three. Let me go over here. Yeah, eight out of the eight out of the box. We have three upgrades on this chest piece, and it's only barely outclassing it. Uh, we'll look into it more specifically, probably in just a second. But, well, and I say just a second, as in once, well, once I get all my all my other parts, all my other things satiated, mainly the. Uh, Mainly this wall hole here, once I get that handled, which I'll just fly to over here. Once I get all that handled, maybe we'll go over to the Great Fairy really quick, but I'm pretty sure you cannot upgrade the Phantom Armor set. Okay, so we are roughly where we need to be. Also, there is a... Uh, there's a crater there. I'm not going to worry too much about that crater that way into the depths. As I say, this little ancient story, but I am... Once again, more interested in this. So anyway, this right here, this particular thing right here, was a shrine, was a shrine or a way to get towards a shrine in Breath of the Wild. It's now just a hole in the wall. Except the hole in the wall is broken open because getting lightning in the hole in the wall is not that hard. And I believe you kind of are incentivized to come here after the temple that I'm saving for last. So we may actually have to come back here. But Bubble Frog, hi. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can't do anything with this right now. I feel like I can, but 
I, I don't know, I'd rather see if I can handle this here and now. Because, though it doesn't appear as much, this is, this is lightning based. And we do have a few lightning things. Oh, this should work. Yeah. If this works, this works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But there is a chest in there. And let me throw another one just to make sure I'm not being dumb. Ow. Okay, so this is something we'll have to come back to. So I lied to you. This was actually the thing I was looking for a lot. But we can't do anything about it. So I'm going to put a treasure chest right here. And hopefully I'll remember in the, in the future to come back to it. Now, back to our regularly scheduled stupidity. At... Uh, Speaking of stupidity, actually, one of the thing, well, one of the stupidity I'm going to handle first is to confirm if that armor can be upgraded or not. Okay, yes, I was well. A couple things. One, you cannot you cannot increase. Uh, eh, brain, do words, please. You cannot upgrade the island lobster shirt we got in Lurlin. Nor can you get the, upgrade the uh, Minas helmet that we got from underneath the Cluda. Nor can you upgrade the Phantom Armor set. So, again, Phantom Armor set. If you don't, if you can get, if you can find it, perfect. Great armor set for a starting because it lets you smack stuff about and take. What is the math on it? Six hearts less damage overall, if you get all three pieces. But once you start getting to tier three upgrades, it's done. So. All right, and let's mark that, just so I know that's a point of interest. And very clearly, very clearly, I can see where the mark is for this particular uh, tier. So I guess we're gonna start off apart with a tier, or I say start off apart, start off a, a realm exploration with a tier. Now, this portion of Hyrule, I have a remembrance, or if I, I have good remembering that a lot of the stuff we're gonna do here. We're literally going to do a quest that's going to be here. And then we turn right back around and go towards something else. Uh, we already did that. Okay. We already did that stable, so we're good. I'm just kind of looking at the land masses to see what else is still here. But yeah, it's just like, there's a lot of quests that are in this area. That we do the quest, or we'll get a picture for a quest that we requested of us like, gosh, what, 50, 70 parts ago now? And we'll finally get the answer to it. The answer, by the way. I don't know why the answer, I said the answer, my brain immediately went, oh, Persona 3. It is roughly that time period in the world still. Anyway, uh, the actual tier for this is hidden amongst the trees in this one. This one I remember very well because I thought the tier was going to be in the head of the beast or at the tail of the beast. But no, it's like nestled away here somewhere. It's like... This one reminds me, this one, remembrance wise, just reminds me a lot of finding the tier, or a lot of the uh, memory locations in Breath of the Wild. Just, oh yeah, there's just this random picture of a set of trees with barely any any notice of, uh, or barely any note or notes of what else is outside of those trees. Yeah, find, go ahead and just find the memory here, buddy. Uh, yeah, I kind of wish I had a vantage point right now, I'm not going to lie. Is it? It's not on top of that clip, or... Uh, follow the... Oh, the Hinox. It's not on top of that... I heard something shake and I got a little scared. It's not going to be on top of this uh, cliff top that I ran away... Or this, this cliff top, this hill that I ran away from a second ago, is it? Also, I need to remember that I can hold B for a lot longer now. Oh, what do you know? It is up here. Well, I did say it was amongst the trees. It just didn't say exactly where amongst the trees. Anyway. While I proceed... While I, uh... Handle my morning voice issues. Quote-unquote morning voice issues. How would you have yourself a lovely cutscene?
Hyrule will bow down before me. Wiped out all the Molduga. How is that possible? <sighs> so brute force will not be enough. The secret stone of the Zonai. <laughs> How interesting. Subtle, Ganondorf is not. It, a lot of times. I'm running right towards the stable. Help. <laughs> I'm already... I'm stumbling over words to start off my day. Granted, it is the start of my day, so that's not a surprise. I'm stumbling over my words as the day starts. I can't get my thoughts straight. I got morning voice. And now, what little crunch I could have left. What little, geograph uh, what little geographical possibilities I have left in my body have left. And with that impressive display of power, I'm going to call things here. Everyone, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Tears of the Kingdom, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.